the refute from our people is always why ain't the white man on this side? Why white people ain't on this side? Yep. Why we don't go to the white neighborhoods? Why don't we teach white men or white children? Because they are not the children of God. Right. They were not raped, robbed, and murdered. You was. Right. Shalom. How y'all brothers and sisters doing? Yeah, My name is Officer Clyde. I've just been speaking with this brother right here. I want y'all to take note of something. You see, only our people down here, right? Why is it that our people live in these conditions all over the earth? No matter where you go at on the earth, you come to these type of neighborhoods, you will, you will find your people the most. We dominate the slums and the ghettos of America. Hey! If I asked this brother his nationality, he said what? Black. If I asked you your nationality, what Black. would you say? Black. Black. You said what? Black. What would you say? Israelite. Because you've been there before, so you would say that. But the consensus throughout all the planet Earth is that we are what? We are black. My boots are black. Your coat is black. Your mask is black. Black is a color in the crayon box. Hey. It is not a nationality. Hey. So now, when we say, oh, now that you know you ain't black, people will say what? Now that you ain't black, what would you say you are? Oh, no. uh, you would say this like because you heard us say it. Yeah. But when you go fill out a job application, you don't want one. But if you go fill out a job application, uh, what's on the job application? Uh, African American. We've been taught that we are either black or African American. It is impossible for us to be an African American because those names come from two white men. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Africa was changed to the name of Africa after Leo Scipio, after Leo Scipio Africanus. He conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic War, changed the name of the continent to Africa. America is named after Amerigo Vespucci, another so-called white man, Italian explorer. This place is named after another man. So when you say you're African American, you're saying that you come from the sperm of Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci, two white men. So. Are you an African American? No. Are you an African American still? No. So if you're not African American and you're not black, why for over hundreds of years in this country have we been being taught that we are African American? Right. Right. This is a proverb in the Bible. Give me that in Isaiah real quick. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. What you just heard me say is recorded in the Bible. Read. The ox knows his owner. God says that an ox knows his owner. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. The ass is a donkey. He knows where his master's crib is. You can take a donkey five miles from here, and in the morning, where he'll be at? He'll be right back home. He know how to get back home. God is saying these animals know where their home is. Come on. But Israel. But the children of Israel. Does everybody have a flyer? Look on the back of your flyer. Look on the back of your flyer. On the back of your flyer, it names the children of Israel. Where you see Judah, if you call yourself an African American, you descend from the tribe of Judah. Right. That is who you are. That is what God calls you. Read it from the top again. The ox knows his owner. God says an ox knows his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. A donkey knows where his master's crib is. He knows who feeds him. He knows where he lay at. He knows where his home is at. Read. But Israel, but the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, come on, does not know. You don't know your homeland. You think America is your homeland. You forgot that you came here on slave ships. Right. You forgot that your foremothers and your forefathers served as slaves here in this country, and we still serve today. Give me Proverbs, hold that, give me Proverbs 4 and 1 real quick. We forgot these things. We must come back to remembering who we are. Why? Because this earth is at is in. The rulership of the so-called white man is coming to an end. That's why you see pestilence plaguing the earth. COVID-19. That's why you see earthquakes happening in all across the world. That's why you see wars and rumors of wars taking place on earth. Because it is time for the return of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Hey, Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. Here, ye children. God says, here, ye children, you are his children. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. The instruction of a father. He says, here, the instruction of a father. Come on. And attend to no understanding. And attend to no understanding. The understanding is in this Bible. Our preachers in these churches are not giving us the understanding. Sir. They give you a shuck and a job, and they pass the collection plate around, and you live, leave out of there still in sin. 
you leave out of there still not knowing that you're in sin and the world that you live in right now is soon to come. Read it again. And attend to no understanding. It says attend to no understanding. Come on. For I give you good doctrine. God says he give us good doctrine. This is the doctrine. We must learn who we are. Now jump back. Give me. Go back to Deuteronomy real quick. Give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28 verse 15. Let's learn why we're in this condition. Why do we think we're black? Why are we stuck with this mindset, sister? How is it that we were once rulers of the earth and now for hundreds of years we have been the degenerates here on this earth? Right. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. God said that it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we did not listen to the voice of God. Read. To observe. To do. All his commandments. He said you must observe and do these commandments. That are, those are action words. To observe and to do his commandments. Come on. And his statue. Read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these what? All these curses. He said that if we don't observe to do all his commandments, all these curses, come on, shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake he thee. He says curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Jump to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God says if you break these commandments, your sons and your daughters are going to be given to another people. What does that sound like, brother? What is giving your son? You got children? If I took your children, let's say, let's, we're, going, we're going to draw, we're going to paint a picture. Let's say you live in Africa, all right? And I come to Africa, a stranger, take your children from you, bring them to another land, and give them to somebody else. What is that called? You sold I sold them all? What is that called in ancient days? It's called what? Slavery. It's called what? Slavery. It's called slavery. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God says your sons and daughters are going to be given to another people. Read. And their eyes shall look and fall with longing for them all the day long. And your eyes are going to see your children being taken away from you and there ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You ain't going to have no power in your hand to get your children back. Read. The fruit of thy land. He says, the fruit of your land and all thy labors. And all your labors, come on. Shall a nation which thou knowest not. Shall a nation which you don't know not. What? Eat up. They're going to eat the fruit of your land. The fruit of your land. Meaning you're going to work the land and they're going to reap the benefits of you working the land. What does that sound like? That is slavery. Slavery is recorded in the Bible. We came into slavery for being disobedient to God's commandments. Right. We are the children of Israel. Right. We broke God's commandments. This is our punishment. But right. salvation is soon to come. Give me Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Give me 13, chapter, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Look at the demon black woman. The demon black woman always comes out of the closet when the men of God start to read from the Bible. Right. Read. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Come on. And that. Knowing the time. The Bible says in that knowing the time. You see pestilence on the earth. You see COVID-19. The wickedness of the black woman is, 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 is humongous. Look at them. You see earthquakes. You're hearing about wars. Yeah, Iran wanting to go to war. You hear about uh, uh, these different nations wanting to go to war. These things are recorded in the Bible. Read. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right now it is time to come up out of that sleep. Right. You must know your nationality, brother. Right. There is not a gate in the kingdom of heaven that says African American. Right. That ain't in the Bible. Hello. Now we've been told, oh, this is the white man's book. The white man wrote the book. Oh, the book ain't real. You can sit here and believe those that don't believe the word of God if you want. But the understanding of this Bible only comes through the keeping of God's commandments. Give me that in Psalms. Give me that in Psalms real quick. Because they ain't listening on no buses. They might not come and stand before the prophets, but they're listening. Read. So, chapter 111, verse 10. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So if you don't fear God, if you're not keeping his commandments, guess what? You ain't got no wisdom. You don't have any wisdom. Read it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is the beginning of your wisdom. The fear of God is going to make you learn what your nationality is because God gave all us a nationality. There's only 18 nations on the planet. Which one do you come from? God created 18 nations of people in the Bible. 
which one do you come from? Right. You can't enter into heaven if you don't know where to go. You can't enter into heaven if you don't know how to get there. Right. You cannot enter into heaven if you're not keeping the commandments of God. Right. Do you really think you're going to do all your wickedness on earth and then go and tell the Father why you didn't keep his commandments? Right. Give me any revelations of the kingdom of heaven in Revelation 21. Right? Yes, sir. Read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 11. Read. Having the glory of God. Uh -huh. And her leg was like unto a... I want the gates. The gates. Verse 12. Uh -huh. And had a wall, great and high. So the kingdom of heaven has a wall, great and high. It's big, tall wall. Read. And had 12 gates. And it has 12 gates. But in the church, they teach you what? One pearly gate. The churches teach one pearly gate. The Bible says that it has 12 gates. Why? For the 12... We're going to find out why. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. So there's angels, there's angels at each one of the 12 gates according to the Bible. Hey. Why do you think those, those angels are there? To restrict exit and entering. You will not just enter into that gate, brother. Read. And names written thereon. There are also names written on the gates. Come on. Which are the names uh -huh. of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Get in the Bible. Oh, the Bible uh -huh. Look on the back of the flyer. When you read, when you see the back of the flyer, you'll see the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Today we go by black. Today we go by Hispanic. Today we go by Native Indian. Those are not our names. Our names are recorded in the Bible. Now we must figure out what we must do. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Learn our nationality. Repent, change our way. Because these plagues that you see plaguing the earth right now, this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning of what is going to come to this country, America, right. and enslave the children of God. Yes. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself. God says, thou, even thyself. What's your name? Theo? Theodore. Theodore. God says to you, Theodore, and thou, even thyself, come on, shall discontinue from thine heritage you're that gonna, I gave thee. You're going to discontinue from the heritage that God gave you because we broke the commandments. Over and over and over in the Bible, we have the prophets continuously going to the children of Israel to tell them, repent, keep the commandments. And over and over and over, we broke the commandments and ended up in the captivity. Over and over and over, we discontinued from our heritage. But this captivity has completely destroyed us to the point that we think we're black. Bring it up. To the point that we think we're a color in a crayon box. Right. That is impossible. The blood running through your body is holy blood. That's right. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from the her Come from on. heritage Come on. that I gave thee. Why? Because we what? We forgot those laws. Jump to Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1 real quick. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1. Why? Why did God have to say this right here? Read. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1. Come on. My son. My son. Read. Forget not my laws. God says don't forget his laws. Right. Do not forget his laws. Come on. But let thine heart keep my commandments. He said let your heart, let your mind keep his commandments. What is the mind? Give me that. Give me that real quick. What is your mind? He said let your mind keep the commandments. Your mind must stay, stay, must stay stayed on the commandments of God so that why you can walk in righteousness you can walk in holiness so that you can receive the salvation that these so-called Christians think they have today read what you got mark chapter 7 verse 21 come on for from within he says for from within out of the heart of men out of the heart of men come on proceed evil thoughts where does thoughts come from because we're talking about hold that remember Proverbs 3 and 1 said what Gotta hold that. Go back to Proverbs 3 and 1. Proverbs 3 and 1 said what? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. Come on. My son, forget not my law. He said, Don't forget my laws. Come on. But let thine heart. Let thine heart. What is he talking about? This is when God says, Let not my heart. Let not your heart. Is he talking about this vessel that pumps blood? What do you think? Is it talking about this vessel? What's your nationality? Uh, me, I'm, I'm just a white guy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey. All praises. But when the Bible is talking about your heart, it's not talking about this vessel that pumps blood. Right. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. Mark chapter 7 verse 21 explains to you what the heart is. How you doing, brother? What's your name, Desmond? Yeah. How you doing, Desmond? Read. For from within. It says from, or from within. Come on. Out of the heart of men uh -huh. proceed evil thoughts. So does thoughts come out of your heart? Where do thoughts come from? 
out of your mind. Right. Thoughts come out of your mind. So let's find out some of the things that come from our mind. Read. Let's see. Evil thoughts. Come on. Adulteries. Adulteries come out of our mind. Fornication. Fornication come out of our mind. Read. Murders. Murder comes out of our mind. Death. Death come out. This stealing from each other comes from the mind. Read. Covetousness. Covetousness. Wanting something that is not yours. Unlawfully wanting to take something that is not yours. Read. Wickedness. Wickedness comes from the mind. Read. Deceit. Uh huh. Lasciviousness. Uh -huh. An evil eye. Read on. Blasphemy. Read. Pride. Foolishness. All these. Evil things. All these evil things come what? Come from within. Come from within out of the mind. Now, when we go like the Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 1, read it from the top. My son, forget not my laws. He said, forget not my laws. Come on. But let thine heart. Let thy mind keep my commandments. Let your mind keep the commandments of God. Why? Because we forgot the commandments of God. We think Christmas is a commandment. We think how uh, uh, Thanksgiving is a commandment. The 4th of July, New Year's. We think these things are things of God. These are not things of God. Okay. You will not find them in the Bible. They are not recorded in the Bible. How do we get here? How do we get to this point? Give me Psalms 83, that crafty counsel real quick. Start at verse one. Psalms chapter 83, verse one. Come on. Keep not the silence, O oh God. Keep not, this is what, this is our prayer today in this captivity, because we are still in captivity. That's right. Read, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Read, for lo, for lo, come on, thine enemies. Whose enemies? Thine enemies. God got enemies? Hold on, God got enemies? Thine enemies. Thine enemies. Make a tumult. Make a tumult. Yeah, the What's the question, brother? Hold that. Why not, why not do this wrong white people? Huh? Why not do this around white people? Why not do this around white people? Yeah. All right. That's a great question. The brothers, the, he's a white guy. I, 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 I know. I know, I know you're not talking. I know, I know you're not talking. I, 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 I don't take no offense. But, you know. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell no, you why we don't go to the prestigious white neighborhoods. Are the prestigious white neighborhoods oppressed? Give me mine on Lek and Isaiah. Are the prestigious white neighborhoods oppressed? Look, look, take look at yourself. Where did you just come from? What's today? Today, I just spoke to the young brother and I told him today's date and it's not today's date. Yeah, today is the Sabbath day. Today is God's So another verse, so another verse. I'm gonna tell you, so another verse. Answer your question, bro. January, January and February wasn't really discovered until, yeah, no, that's until, 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 until Julius Caesar. Oh, okay, right. Now I'm gonna answer your question. You said, why don't we, let's stay on the topic. Yeah. The topic is, why don't we go to white people in the, in the white neighborhoods? Right. The first thing you must understand, brother, uh -huh. is that we come to the degenerate neighborhoods of the so-called black man is because the so-called black man has no idea who he is. Right. He has no idea that he is the son of the living God. Right. He has no idea that the blood running through his body descend from Adam who came from God. That Jesus Christ is your brother. That is why we come to the, our neighborhoods because we are the ones that broke God's commandments and ended up into captivity. Uh, what I got you holding? Uh, Isaiah 45. Read that real quick. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. Come on. For Jacob, my servant. He said, Jacob, my servant. Come on. And Israel. Israel. The children of Israel. The children of Israel are not those people that are in Israel today. They don't call themselves the children of Israel. They call themselves Israeli. That, that place was not made a state until what? 1948. 1948. Israel was made a state. Alright? A governing state. Prior to that, you did recently. They just had many people wanted uh, moving there to claim a nationality that is not theirs. Your, the true nationality of the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American is not Black, Hispanic, and Native American. Contrary to what you may believe, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. So the Bible is written to the children of Israel, the sons of Jacob. Read it again. For Jacob, my servant, say, uh huh, and Israel, mine elect. Read. I have called thee by thy name. God has called us by his name. Read. I have surnamed thee. Who? What? I have surnamed thee. God says he surnamed you. Come on. Though thou hast not known me. Even though you don't know him, Desmond. What's your last name? Fraser. Fraser. Your, your, your name is Desmond Fraser. Where does your last name come from? Yeah. Yes, that's, yeah. where, it, that's where it comes from. Now, what you, what you don't understand is because... The, re the refute from our people is always, why ain't the white man on this side? Why white people ain't on this side? Yep. Why we don't go to the white neighborhoods? Why don't we teach white men? 
or white children because they are not the children of God. Right. They were not raped, robbed, and murdered. You was. They were not put in. The prophecies of this Bible did not fit them. Let's go back to the prophecy real quick. Get that in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 can I, again. Can I ask you question? Yes, Reek, what's the question? What did the Bible, what, what Bible came from? What, what do you mean, what did the Bible came from? God. The, the, no, 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 no. The, the, the white people. The prophets of God the wrote white the people. The white people create the Bible and, no, and, they try, did to, not. and try to misunderstand like, no, and, and, and mislead black people? No, they did not. I'm that white is, and I would assume that it was black people. Yeah, that, that, that it did not come from white people. What you, I'm gonna read this real quick. Read this real quick. Read uh, 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou art hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this was, but this is God talking to Moses, telling Moses what to tell the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt the first time and they were in the wilderness. He said, if y'all don't listen to these commandments, come on, to observe, to do, all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, all if you don't do what God, God just delivered you from Pharaoh. If you don't do these commandments, these curses are going to happen to you. Read Let's read a curse. Chapter verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Were your people's sons and daughters given to another people? Uh, not to my knowledge. No. Not to his knowledge. That curse does not fit him. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. God said the children of Israel, your children are going to be taken away from you. And your eyes are going to see your children being taken away from you. And there's going to be nothing you can do about it. Meaning you're going to have no power in your hand. Right. Now, you may, be, you may not be in the upper echelon of the so-called white class today. But can you deny that the upper class has more power than the so-called black man? That is, that's absolutely true. That is absolutely true. You hear what, you hear what he's saying? It is true. Now, let, well, let's keep reading. Let's see how these curses lined up. Read. Yeah. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You ain't going to have no power. The children of Israel will have no power. Today, you still ain't got no power. You can march down the street, hold your hands up. You can lay in the road. None of that stops. None of that stops the oppression that your people are going to go through. Why? Because it's not of them. The oppression is not of them. The oppression is of God. Right. We broke the commandments. He used them to punish us. Right. Right. Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation... Hold on. Read it again. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of your land. Where you work at? Waltz. Waltz Associates. All right. Let's translate this. In, that's an industrial place. Let's translate that uh, back 400 years. Where would you be at now? You'll be in a plantation. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be Watts Association. It'll be Watts Plantation. Right. It'll be your last name, which is what? It'll be the Fraser Plantation. Right. That's where. That's what. Be, this will be the field. Let's read that part again. Now I want you to keep this concept in mind. You're no longer at Watts Association. You're on the Fraser's Plantation 400 years ago. Read. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of the land. Come on. And all thy labor. And all your laboring in the field. Read. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Who picked the cotton? Bring it out. The slaves. The slaves. Yeah. Who picked the uh, who, 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 who picked the tobacco? The slaves. Who picked the sugar cane? So who, 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 the who, slaves. Who picking the cotton now? You picking cotton now on uh, Watts Association. That was right. picking the cotton now right, right. now. <laughs> That's the same thing. All it did was change right. forms. It just changed forms. Now you don't work in a field because things have industrialized through time. We live in a we live in a in, in a, 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 a age of machinery and mechanisms and science and all this stuff that move pieces around. So you just go in there, push a button. Now years ago you couldn't push buttons and watch it go down the assembly line. None of that could happen. The assembly line was you, 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 you. This was this was you getting it down the assembly line back then. That's right. But now you don't do that. You, all right? you have you have what you think is freedom to get up and go to work, make your money, and go home. It's still slavery, and we're going to show you. Jump to verse 48. Jump to verse 48. Verse 48. Re listen to this. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. God says because you broke the commandments, now you're going to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Which what? The Lord. So God sent the so-called white man after you for breaking the commandments. Right. We yeah. shall sin against thee in hunger. In what? In hunger. In hunger. Jump up to verse 45 real quick. Verse 45. Uh -huh. Moreover. Moreover. All these curses shall come upon thee 
and, and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. So now 400 years done passed. We're in 2020, we're five, damn near 500 years. 2021, the Bible says what? Read that again. Moreover, all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee. It says all these curses are going to come upon the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Come on. And shall pursue thee. And they're going to pursue you, meaning you're going to follow you. I don't care if you go from Fraser Plantation to Jenkinson Plantation to Watts Associates. These curses are going to follow you. They're going to pursue you. Come on. And overtake thee. And they're going to overtake you. Come on. Till thou be destroyed. Until you are destroyed. Until you are destroyed. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we did. All we had to do was listen. All we had to do was follow the commandments. That's all we got to do now. But guess what? We don't want to do that. We want to do all the things the other nations do. Right. We want to keep Christmas, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, Father's Day. We want to do these things in this country. Those are not of God. God gave the Israelites their own holidays. Right. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes uh -huh. which he commanded thee. So he commanded us to do these things. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So now God says that these curses are going to be on the children of Israel for a sign. For a sign. This sign says what? How would I know what street this is? Because the sign says what? Laurel Street. God said that these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. Meaning you're going to be able to look into the world and you're going to be able to know that those are the children of God. Why? Because they fit the curses in the Bible. Read. Okay. And for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Read on. I'm gonna give it, let me finish this. I'm going to finish this. Read. Verse 47. Come, come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. So because we didn't serve God, come on. With joyfulness. With joyfulness. And with gladness of heart. With gladness of heart, meaning of mind, come on. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of the world. He gave us the whole world. He gave us the whole, this, this world is yours. Just keep the commandments. Guess what we say? Oh, God, hey, I know you gave us the whole world, but go away. Look at what, look at what uh, Amalek doing. Look at what Esau doing. I need to, I want to partake in that, God. You know what? Forget owning the world. I'm going to have fun over here with these other nations. That's what we did. I'm, I'm going to get your question. Let me get this out. Read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. So because we decided to break the commandments of God, he said you're going to serve your enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against Which thee. Which he's going to send against us. Come on. In hunger. In hunger. When you want something to eat. When you want food. When you want to eat a nice juicy burger, you're going to serve your enemies. When you want to put food on your table, you're going to serve your enemies at what? So associates. When you want to take care of your family because your family is starving, you're going to serve your enemies for food. Come on. And then thirst. And then thirst. When you want water. When you want water. When you want to take a shower. Bring it up. You're going to serve your enemy for water. A natural resource that God gave you. Right. You're going to serve your enemy. Come on. And then nakedness. And then nakedness. When you want clothes to put on your back. When you want bare clothes to put on your back. God says you're going to serve your enemies because you broke the commandments. Come on. And then what? Of all things. And one of everything. If you want to die, you need to pay for a birth certificate, a death certificate. If you want to be born, you want to have children, you need to pay for a birth certificate. If you want to drive, you need to go and pay for a driver's license. Yeah. If you want to build a house, you need a building permit. You right. need to buy all these necessities from your oppressor when right. God gave it to you. Right. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is how we know who the children of Israel are. This is why we come to the neighborhood where our people are. God said, what? What are you going to do? And he, and he, look on the back of your, look on the front of your flyer. Look on the front of your flyer. You got one? Here you go. Look on the front of the flyer. God says what? And he, and he, your enemy, come on, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He's going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Who put a yoke of iron on your neck? Look at the picture. Don't look at me. Look at the picture. Who put the yokes of iron on your neck? Who did that? White people. The so-called white man did that. He ain't put the yokes of iron on your neck. No, I didn't write the Bible. Read it again. And he, and he, so your enemy, it. your enemy, the so-called white man, come on, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is why we go to the neighborhood where our people at. Because the yoke of iron was on your neck. Wasn't no yoke of iron on their neck. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Until you've been destroyed, the yoke of iron was going to be on your neck. So now today, you ain't got no yoke of iron on your neck, right? So what does that mean? 
It means that you will read it. I want you to hear what God says. This is how you get an understanding of the Bible. Remember, here you had a yoke of iron on your neck. Today, you don't have a yoke of iron on your neck, right? Read that again. And he said, put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck. Come on. Until. Until. He have destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed thee. So when he took the yokes of iron off your neck, what did that symbolize? Bring it up. It symbolized that you are a destroyed man. You don't know your nationality, you don't know your God, you don't know your homeland, you have no idea that the blood in your body is royalty, you have been completely destroyed as a so-called black man, as an Israelite man, the son of God, That's you are destroyed, brother. My question is, what if, what if I know all that information in me? You, what if you know all that information? In me, yeah. yeah. Alright, okay, let's say, let, 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 all right, let, let, let's deal with that. Let's ask the question. Do you know this information? Yes, okay, then. Not, not with the Bible, as far as, like, how, how y'all preach it. Okay. As far as the Bible, not how y'all preach it, but let, 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 like, let's just say, like, you know what I mean, like, everything you're saying. That you already know. Yeah. Obviously, our people don't know. We don't know. Some, some, some. We don't know this stuff, bro. If you knew this, you would, did you work today? What's up? If you knew this stuff, you wouldn't have worked today because today is Lord Sabbath Day. It's your holy day. What? Right. You don't know this stuff. Give me the Sabbath day. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Here we go again. Why God keep, selling, keep telling us to remember this stuff? Obviously, you don't know it. You forgot it. You were destroyed. Your heritage was taken, Desmond. You don't know this stuff. You can't assume that you do. You have to admit, I've been lied to. How old are you? I've been lied to for 38 damn years on earth. Mama lied, grandma lied, granddaddy lied, daddy lied, teacher lied, preacher lied, everybody lied. We, we you got to accept we, that. We, 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 we to place. keep it holy. God says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Why did he say remember? Obviously, we would what? We would forget. We Read. Six days shall thou labor. So God said, you got six days to go to watch the socials. You got six days to do your labor. Come on. And do all thy work. And to do all your work. Come on. But the seventh day. But on the seventh day, the seventh day, when you look on a calendar, what is the first day of the week? If you look at a calendar, what's the first day of the week? Monday. Sunday. 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 Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday is six days. Five. Saturday is the seventh day of the Lord. At Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown, that is the Sabbath day of the Lord. Right. That is what it is. God said what? But the seventh day. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord come thy on. God. Come on. In it. In, this, in it. In it. On the Sabbath day. Come on. Thou shalt not do any work. You shouldn't do no work for Watts Associates. That ain't in you. You didn't know that. You didn't know that. Read. Thou nor thy son. Thou. Ain't you ain't supposed to work? Neither your son, come on. Nor thy daughter, neither your daughter, come on. Thy man servant. Thy man servant if you got servants, but we ain't got these that don't ain't those captivity. We don't have servants, come on. Nor thy maid servant. Nor your maid servant, come on. Nor thy cattle. Nor your cattle. Your cattle ain't supposed to be working, come on. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. Come on. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. Come on. And the sea and all that is in them. Read. And rested the Sabbath day. He rested on the Sabbath day. So God hallowed the Sabbath day because he rested. He made it holy for the children of Israel to rest on the Sabbath day. Right. I'm going to show you something else that you don't know. Give me uh, uh, Numbers chapter 15. Yeah. These things are not in our mind. They stole these things from us. They stole our culture. Everything that we think we know is a lie. It is a lie. We have lived all our lives in America. It's been a lie. I, I, know, I know that. I know that. All right, let me see if you know this. Read. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Come on. And bid them. And command them, teach them. Come on. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Come on. Throughout their generation. So what? where is the border of your garment? Somebody show me the border of their garment. The border. The border of their garment. Does anybody know? What is the border of your garment? Right here, brother. Come here. This is the border of your garment. You see this? This right here is the border. This right here is the border of your garment, right here. He said, do what? Read it again. And make, and make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So God says that you're supposed to be doing this 
throughout your generations, meaning as long as you're generating, as long as you're making children, you're supposed to be doing this thing. I want you to stay there, sister, because I'm going to show you something heavy. I'm going to show you something heavy because you got the fringes. You got fringes, but you don't know where you got them at. Read. And then they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now, we want to identify a fringe. I'm going to show you a fringe, right? Sister, let me see your scarf. Hold your scarf up like that right there. Those are fringes. That's right. Those are fringes. Those are fringes that the Lord is talking about. Right. But they're not supposed to be on our neck. Now, you know, there's nothing wrong with you having it on your neck because you're wearing it as a scarf. But they're supposed to be where? On the borders of your garments right, right. here. These are fringes. God said what? Read it again. And now they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. The precept above that. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and them that they make them fringes. That you put fringes in the what? In the borders of their garment. All around your garment, fringes are supposed to be on there. Why? Because that identifies the what? Well, that's an Israelite. He's keeping God's commandments. We're going to find out why. Read. Throughout the generation. So as long as you're generated and making children, our parents were supposed to teach us what? To wear fringes. Did mama teach you that? How about daddy? How about grandma? No, they didn't know that. Why? Because that information was stripped from them doing slavery. We right. lost all of that. All of that got taken from us. We don't know God's laws. The only thing that, that, that slave master read out of the Bible was obey your, your slave masters. That's the only part of the book they read. Obey your slave masters, thus saith the Lord God, or we're going to punish you. That's uh, what you think the slave did. I'm going to obey because I don't want to get I don't want to get done like Tommy did. You see what they did to Tommy? You, know? you see what they did to Mary? They tied her to a tree and, and, and bust open. She was pregnant. She had twins in there. Did you see what happened to him? Mary died in there in the hole. Did you see what happened? This is our mindset. That's why we that's why we like that today. So call white man, come past us right now. That's what we do. Put our head down. Read it up. Read it up. When we want to look them in the eye because they have embedded the fear in us. Right. But God says what? Read that second part. And that they put upon the, yeah, upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So on top of the fringe, sister, there's supposed to be a ribbon of blue. This supposed to be a ribbon of blue. This is God giving us an identity. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend. So it shall be unto you for a friend. Come on. That ye may look upon it. So we can look upon the friends. Come on. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. The fringes represent all the commandments of the Lord. Read. And do them. And do the commandments. This reminds you to do the commandments of God. All of these brothers that got all these brothers got fringes on. Throughout our day. When things are going on, you know what we find ourselves doing? Grabbing our fringes and rubbing our fringes doing this right yeah. here. We find ourselves rubbing our fringes and doing this. Why? Because it reminds us, all right, look, I might be getting out the spirit. Let me, let, me, let, me get, let me get myself back in the spirit of the Lord. Let me come out of this mentality that I've been, that's been engraved in my head for over 400 years that my forefathers and foremothers have suffered from. These fringes remind me to keep the commandments of God. Read that speech up again. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38 Come on Speak unto the children of Israel Come on And bid them that they make them fringes In the borders of their garments Come on Throughout their generation So as long as we're having children We're supposed to be teaching them To put fringes on their garments Come on And that they put upon the fringe of the borders A ribbon of blue A ribbon of blue goes on top of the fringe Come on and it shall be unto you for a friend uh -huh. that ye may look upon that it. That you can look upon the fringes, come on. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. So that you can remember all the commandments of the God of God. And do them. And do them, read. And that ye seek not after your own heart. So the, the fringes help you not to seek after your own heart. Remember, the heart is what? The heart is the mind. We went over that. So that you can not seek after your own mind, after your own heart. And your own eyes. As your own eyes. After which you used to go a whore. After which you used to go a whoring. Our own mind and our own thoughts had us where? In the strip club, smoking weed, you know. getting drunk, you know. uh, sleeping with more, multiple women, right. whoring out our sisters and not right. marrying them. Yeah. This is what our own mind had us doing. Our own minds had us hating each other, robbing each other, killing each other. Our own mind has us in this, in this space. America has created a Negro. Right. He has created a black man. That's you right. are not a black man. You are a God on this earth. Give me that in Psalms Lord. chapter 82. Give me that in Psalms chapter 82 real quick. Because, and we have to remember this. We got to come back to this. We got to come off of the street corners. We got to put down the cigarettes. We got we to do all that. Destruction is coming 
to America. That's, That's right. Captain Captain uh, what's his name? Captain Zuriak. Um, Captain Zuriak. Where yeah. where who's yeah. in New York? In New York. Yeah, in Harlem. Zakai. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm I'm saying his name wrong or whatnot. But he he got multiple wives. Who? Uh, multiple wives. Okay. That's another. That's a whole another Israelite congregation. That's a whole another Israelite congregation. We follow what Christ said. Christ said one wife. That's right. One. The Bible says one wife. Right. Why? If you had two wives, you got a wife right now? So. You're not married, right? Let's say you were married, right? Mm -hmm. And you're paying all these bills, mm -hmm. right? Are you married, brother? No, I'm finna get married. Finna get married? You married? No, are you married? You, are you married? Seven years. Sir. Seven years? Okay. 27. 27 years? Woo! Hey, congratulations. But let's say, let's say you're, you're married, right? You're already catching hell in captivity, right? Are you not catching hell right now? Are we catching hell? We are catching hell. We cannot deny that. Do you think you can take care of two wives? No. That's why Christ said one wife. When we get, when we're in rulership, oh, you can have more than one wife. But right now, you're not in, you're not in rulership. Right. The Bible says that when we get our kingdom back, when we are restored the kingdom of heaven, yeah, we're gonna have more than one wife. But right now, you are a slave in captivity. You can't take care of your damn self. Right. right. What the hell are you gonna do with two wives? That's another congregation. Here at Israel United in Christ, we don't teach that. Right. We teach what Christ says. One wife, one husband. Right. That is it. If you break that commandment, we're going to kick your ass out of here. We won't play that. Right. Right. Simple as that. Read what you got. Psalms 82, verse 6. Read. I have said, ye are God. You black men, you so-called black men, you so-called black men, God says what? And ye, I have said, ye are God. God himself. The Most High God himself is telling his children, I have said, ye are gods. Right. Read. And all of you are children of the Most High. You're the children of the Most High God. Your blood traces all the way back to Jesus Christ, all the way back to David, all the way back to Adam, all the way back to God himself. That's, that's the blood that's in your body. But we, got, we cannot forget that we have gotten into, into, into this condition because we broke the commandments. Right. God said that all of you are children of the Most High. Come on. But you. But. 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 Is a big, it's a three letter word. But this but right here is very important. It says that you are God's, all of you are children of the Most High God. But. But. Ye shall die like men. But now you're going to die like men. Why are we dying like men now? We don't explain the whole lot. Why is it? Because we broke the commandments. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's why we die like regular men. But in the beginning, you was not a regular man. God did not create you to die. God did not create us to die. Christ. And when we get our heavenly bodies back, when through keeping the commandments, you ain't gonna just die, nigga, and, 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 and come back, and God is gonna resurrect you so you can be another nigga. No, you must start learning the commandments, keeping the commandments, and you must die in Christ, keeping these commandments. Then, Lord's willing, you are resurrected in a new body. We're not gonna die again. Death will no longer. Death can no longer have reign and rule over us. We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.